again come back to inequalities. In the previous session, we had discussed uh, the different fundas behind the linear inequalities. So now let's move to the quadratic inequalities, the basic concepts for the quadratic inequalities. Now, in case of quadratic inequalities, mm. for example, if I say x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0, that is equations. If I say that, let's say that is greater than or equal to 0. Now, can I say that is from here I will get the value that is x plus 2 into x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. And right now we have discussed the in the quadratic equation, the graph of the quadratic equation. Since there are two roots, so it means, and these two roots are here, so it means the x-axis will, uh, this graph will cut the x-axis at two points. And if you look at here, the coefficient of x is positive. Now, if the coefficient of x is positive, my graph is like this one. Okay. And the different critical points are nothing but minus 3 and minus 2. So, can I say, after 2, this term is what? This graph is going upward. So, basically, this is my positive. But between and 2 and 3, this graph is below this line. So, it means this is nothing but negative. And before minus 3, again, the graph is above the line. So, it means this is positive. And here, we are supposed to find out the value of x says that x plus 2 into x plus 3, that quadratic equation is positive. So, this is positive in the range when x is greater than 2 or when x is less than minus 3. So, from here we can say that the value of x is either greater than minus 2 or the value of x is less than minus 3. Similarly, instead of this equation, if there is less than sign. x square plus 5x plus 6 is less than 0 and x plus 2 into x plus 3 that will be comes out to be less than 0. So, from here we can say that x plus 2 into x plus 3 is less than 0. So, it means negative value, we need a negative value and if I look at the graph, the negative value is lying between minus 2 and minus 3. So, straight away from here we can say that the value of x is lying between minus 3 and minus 2. Okay. So, this is the way by which we can solve the quadratic inequalities. So, always remember one thing that for any quadratic equations like this one x plus a or I will say that is x minus a into x minus b greater than 0. So, in this case, depending on the value of a and b, and let us say for a moment if I say here that a is greater than b. So, whenever there is a greater than sign, so straight away write down that the value of x is always greater than a and or the value of x is less than b. That is it. And in case if it is more x minus a into x minus b less than 0. Now, in this case, again straight away, Whenever it is less than sign, the value of x will always lies between b2a. Because here we are taking a is greater than b. So, there are only two possibilities. If there is a greater than sign, so it means the value never lies between the roots. And if it is less than sign, so it means the value will always lies between the roots. So, for quadratic inequalities, we need to remember only these two things here. Similarly, if I move to the modulus inequalities. For example, if I say mod of x plus 5 is less than 7. Now, in this case also remember only one thing. Whenever it is less than 7, the state away, this is nothing but you can write down that x plus 5 is lying between minus 7 to plus 7. Whenever there is less than sign, so it means the value always lies between minus 7 to plus 7. And again, subtract 5 from all the side, I will get minus 12 
less than x, less than 2. So, from here we can say that the value of x will lies between minus 12 and 2. Similarly, if it is x plus 5 is greater than 7 and when in mod function if it is greater than sign, so here we can say straight away that x plus 5 is greater than 7 or x plus 5 is less than minus 7. Again, the value never lies between minus 7 and plus 7 here. So, again from here we can say that the x is nothing but that is greater than 2 or the value of x is less than minus 12. So, this is the condition for the uh, mod inequalities here. <coughs> now, let us take higher degree equation. Higher degree equation uh, basically we will talk about the cubic equation or maybe the 4 degree equation. If you are taking cubic equation like this one ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b is equal to 0. Now, if it is a cubic equation, uh, in cubic equation again we are do not discuss in details, simply discuss what is the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. Now, here the sum of the roots, if I say the three roots are there, so sum of the roots is alpha plus beta plus gamma that is equal to minus b by a. Next thing is sum of the roots taking two at a time. So, out of this three taking two at a time that is alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to c by a. And the last thing is sum of the roots taking three at a time. So, if I take three roots at a time basically we get the product of roots which is equal to nothing but minus d by a. Now, the important thing is that we will start from the negative, then come to positive, then negative and so on. Now, again the important thing here is, which I discussed earlier also in case of quadratic equation. If I say that alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of this quadratic equation and we are supposed to find out what is the value of 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into 1 minus gamma. 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into 1 minus gamma. <coughs> now, here in this case, again I will say follow the same method. If alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of this equation, so we can say that ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma. And remember again I am repeating once again that this is extremely important that you need to multiply this 3 term by a because the coefficient of x cube is a here. Now, simply put x equal to 1 on both the sides. So, if I put x equal to 1 on both the side, I will get a plus b plus c plus d which is equal to a into 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into 1 minus gamma. And from here we can find out the value of 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta into 1 minus gamma which is a plus b plus c plus d divided by a. Similarly for 4 degree equation, if I say ax is to power 4 plus bx cube plus cx square plus dx plus e equal to 0. So, sum of the roots, I can write down that is summation x1 which means x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. The sum of the roots taking 1 at a time that is always equal to minus b by a. Then summation x1, x2 which means sum of the roots taking 2 at a time. Okay. That will be always equal to c by a. Then summation x1, x2, x3 which is sum of the roots taking 3 at a time is equal to minus b by a and summation x1, x2, x3 and x4 that is equal to e by a that is taking 4 at a time. 